Hi guys, there'll be another um, mix on the way very shortly, but um, uh, I just wanted to upload something a little bit different, which is a quick um, tips video, um, just in case there's people out there looking for something a bit more specific to mixing UK Garage. Um, most things on mine are sort of a bit more geared towards um, EDM, house, that kind of thing, which is uh, which is all good. Um, but I wanted to share along the way a couple of things that I've um, I've picked up that I find useful when when mixing UKG. So today, what I want to talk about is little technique I've picked up to drop in the tune on the one beat, as in you've uh, you've got a song playing, you've got your next one lined up, um, you want to bring it into the mix, but you want to be able to hear that very first beat in the mix. Now um, I started off uh, DJing using vinyl, um, so one of the things you had to spend hours and hours practicing was rocking the, the first beat, holding the, the vinyl over the first beat, um, rocking it backwards and forwards in time, and then practicing releasing it and giving it a slight push, a slight lift of the hand, so that that beat um, sets off exactly in time and exactly uh, in sync with the the other the other record. Pretty difficult to uh, to do. Every every single piece of vinyl feels different. The hole in the in the center is often a different different size, and you can you can try and make them bigger and smaller to to get a bit more consistency there. But um, moving to a controller, you obviously have a cue button, a play and pause button. Or you have the uh, the jog wheels, um, but it's a similar thing. You know, you do all the work, you, you you get the tune, the right BPM, ready to go. You know when you want to drop it in, but if you hit that play button or if you release your your hand off of the jog wheel at a fraction of a second early, a fraction of a second late, you've then got to spend a, a few beats, beat patching manually, moving the jog forward, backwards, getting them in line, and you know it's it's a small thing, but it is potentially audible, particularly if you're putting together a mix that you want to. I don't know, send out to uh, to your friends, do, do you want every mix to, to have that sort of adjustment period at the start. Um, what some people do is drop in the beat with the volume down, get it beat match, bring it in a few beats later. That's fine, but tends to suit styles of music where you're doing very sort of long, slow, blendy type mixes. Again, maybe more suited to house or, or trance, something like that, um, and garage and, and, and other similar styles. Sometimes you just want to slam that send that next record in straight away, hear it from the beginning. So um, so what I um, am just going to share with you is is one option um, for those who fancy it. Um, I've been exploring sort of using um, an eight bar loop on the track you're about to bring in um, and using that to have your track perfectly lined up, already beat match before you bring it in. Um, and all you need to do is bring the volume up and then exit the loop um, before those eight bars are, are out and if you do that correctly you can get that that first beat in audible first time um, every time so uh, so let's have a look so I'm in record box I've got a couple of a uh, couple of songs lined up we've got golly gosh 2 by sticky over here and we've got uh, get bus by dread MC um, Sammy Vergie over here. Um, so what I'm going to do, play one of them, um, and I think first of all I'll just get them at the same tempo, what should we go with? 136, again being a being a, a, a vinyl uh, DJ at heart, it's um, it's very interesting looking at the numbers and lining them up that way, but um, but there we go, it's, it's 2020. So uh, let's get this one started. Now, obviously, you'd be mixing them towards the end and not the start, but um, it's must. So, what I'm going to do shortly is just press play on the beat and you'll see what I mean. Well, look, I was reasonably accurate that time. Obviously, it sounds awful, don't worry about that. It's just for demonstration purposes. But you get the idea. I could have done that slightly early, slightly late, we've had to, you know, move it back and forwards to get it online. I'm sure you've, I'm sure you've all been there before. So, second time round, in fact, let's, uh, well, I'll, I'll press play in a second. What I'm going to do this time is uh, we'll, we'll use the same two tracks, but instead of just pressing play, 
on uh, on the new one to come in. If you line it up on the on the very first beat, hopefully your your beat grids are in the in the right place. Set up an eight bar loop on that track, like so. Get that playing. I'll we'll just turn the volume up. Obviously, this would usually be in your in your headphones. Now let's play the main track. And what you can do is you can start your loop. Start it here. Now there you go. I tried to press it at the same time and I'm a, a fraction late, so that wouldn't sound very good. Now I'm gonna bring the volume up because you can't hear it. Again, this would usually be in your headphones, so let's uh no I'll tell you what, I'll do it in my headphones, bear with me. No way. I'll bring the volume up so you can hear it. Just making sure the beats are aligned. Right, so the beats there are aligned. You've got your 8 bar loop lined up, going nowhere. You can leave that for as long as you want, and you know when you bring it in that's going to be bang on time. So by doing that, and you can do it very quickly, it doesn't take long to uh, you know, get the tempo lined up, get the, get the loop going, do it at a very short notice. Then, you know, your song's in, wait for the right moment, you want to bring it in, bring it in. No, it's a lost beats and lost time. So let's bring it in after this. I wish I'd picked a couple of different songs because these don't sound great together. Let's try and soften it a little bit. But uh, let's give it a go. So something like that, you know, rough and ready. I wasn't here to demonstrate any mixing skills there, but uh, you know, bottom line is, if you want to get this on in the first, very first bar, uh, first beat of first bar, that's a good way of doing it. Um, let's just pick another. What should we go with? Let's just put this on. Let's do it once more. So first beat of bar, eight bar loop. Get that going. Start at the appropriate moment, there we go. Get the tempo the same. Again, this bit you do in your headphones, just getting the beats lined up. Yeah, sounds good to me. Obviously, if you look at these examples, 136.85, 136.87, so the longer you leave it, the one at 87 is gradually going to, to run forwards a little bit, so be conscious of that. And you can sort out your EQ, soften maybe the lows, maybe the highs, if you want to. And I think after this little bit, I will bring it in, and you'll see what I mean a second time. Remember to exit the loop, if you leave it running, you know, you can work with it, but it's not ideal. So there we go, use your 8 bar loops to get your, your first beat heard in the mix straight away, none of this uh, doing the volume down, none of this getting it wrong, making audible adjustments as you go along, give it a try, see what you think. Um, 
this is a very new YouTube channel, I would appreciate any likes, I would love any subscriptions, any comments, please let me know, and uh, I will be back with a, an actual mix very soon.